Hello, this is Hawk Devine, and today we are going to SCP-3541. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number SCP-3541, Object Class Keter, Special Containment Procedures. Current research indicates that it is impossible to counteract or prevent SCP-3541. Due to this, containment of SCP-3541 consists of ensuring all SCP-3541-1 instances have a safe, consistent place in which to conduct their work. MTF Omega-13 has been created for the purpose of discovering as many instances of SCP-3541-1 as possible. This task force is composed of members of the Foundation who are confirmed to be scp 3541-1 instances. Membership in MTF Omega-13 is voluntary and staff may continue their own research and work if they, they so choose. They are to be informed of the effects of SCP-3541 upon confirmation of that is as an, as an SCP-3541-1 instance. If, Omega, if MTF Omega-13 discovers an SCP-3541-1 3541-1 instance within the civilian populace area to inform the current director responsible for SCP-3541 containment. The director will then construct a workplace where the instance may work in peace, as well as consoling and psychotherapeutic services for the affected person. Staff should not actively inform an SCP-3541-1 instance of SCP-3541, but may disclose the information when asked. All work created by SCP-3541 instances must be used for the benefit of humanity, provided the works do not critically harm the Foundation's operational secrecy. They should be declassified and disseminated to the public as quickly as possible. Description SCP-3541 is a randomly occurring phenomenon that results in the creation and eventual death of, of an SCP-3541-1 instance. SCP-3541 has been recorded occurring in all fields of work and education. To date, there are no unknown signifiers that allow for the prediction of when an SCP-3541 event will occur, or who will become an SCP-3541-1 instance. There has been an increase in SCP-3541 events since the Foundation first became aware of the phenomenon, at a rate of 4% per year. Whether that's because Foundation finally looked at it, or it's just simply because they finally actually knew what the heck it was. It's kind of like how there became an increase in left-handedness, as when we stopped punishing anyone who dared to write with their left hand. Or there's been an increase in multiple mental illnesses when we learned how to diagnose them. Anyway. An SCP-3541-1 instance is a person who has been affected by SCP-3541 and is considered a master of their particular career, field, or focus. Once a person becomes an instance, they will quickly rise to notoriety due to producing extremely high-quality work that advances their field. The work of SCP-3541-1 instances in science and technology fields is highly regarded and often instrumental in creating new discoveries. I wonder if that's if that would include um like Einstein or some or people like that. Work within artistic fields is critically successful and praised for its depth and emotional weight. All SCP-3541-1 instances have an ethereal golden crown that floats above their heads. These crowns are only visible to S to other SCP-3541-1 instances. Other than crowns, there are no easily identifiable physiological intellectual or emotional differences between an SCP-3541-1 instance and a normal person. And the collected data shows that there are no differences before or after a person becomes affected. Within five years of a person becoming an SCP-3541-1 instance, they will die. All attempts to prevent these deaths have failed. The means of death varies from instance to instance, but deaths are typically through traumatic or chemical means. Often self-inflicted. When SCP-3541-1 instance dies, their nervous system will immediately enter a state of heightened thermal activity, causing significant damage to the brain and other key organs. And then them, 
The following poem was last for, written by Samuel Friedrich, a known anarchist and informant for the Foundation. Friedrich was the first person to form the Foundation of SCP-3541. I see in myself a golden flame bright, but the mirror is dark. My hell I see not. I stand above all on blackest of cliffs below, hungry eyes watching, voraciously gnashing. Do they hunger for me? Or my words do they thirst? I cannot create what it is they seek. I find myself failing, hoping it will suffice. And I see in myself a golden flame burnt out. I see what this is now. SCP-3541. I think is a metaphor for burnout. Anyway, if you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!